The Land Rover Defender, a car that needs no introduction because it's been around for almost ever. It's also a car that's very dead. The last Defender rolled off the production line in 2016. So for their 70th birthday, Land Rover has decided to re-engineer 150 Defenders. But instead of following current trends by making an all-electric SUV, Land Rover has decided to do something a little bit more special. What they've done is they've gone the old school way and they've gone to their friends at Jaguar and said, Hello chaps, can we have one of your 5 litre V8s please? So what we've got here is 400 brake horsepower and over 500 newt metres of torque. Oh, one thing it does without though is a supercharger because quite frankly that would be just a little bit over the top. <laughs> To cope with the V8's unhinged character and all that power, there's an 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox, beefier brakes and new springs, dampers and anti-roll bars. There's also new alloys and meaty off-road tyres and the interior has had a few extra luxuries. I just love the whole attitude about this car. Now Land Rover could have said, well for our 70th birthday we're going to show how environmentally friendly and how technologically advanced we could make the Defender, but they said, nah, what we'll do is we'll stick a great big V8 in it. You see, whereas a Tesla Model X is like a tofu salad drizzled with vinaigrette, this is sausage and chips. Now, whilst in something like a Range Rover Sport, the 5-litre V8 can be quite muffled, quite refined, until you open up the taps. But in this, it's noisy all of the time. That's because there's very little sound insulation in here. You are very close to that engine, so it is continuously noisy. Having said that, it is an awful lot quieter than the old diesel engine in the old Defender. I'd much rather be driving around in this than in the diesel, that's for sure. Another reason why I'd rather be driving this than the old Defender diesel is because of the noise. What's a Defender with a 5 litre V8 like under the bonnet? Well, it is fantastic and also absolutely terrifying. Put your foot down on the throttle and you get this crescendo of noise. It sounds like Alan Sugar with a hangover once he's woken up in the morning. It is a fantastic noise. But when you put your foot down on the throttle, you realise that you're driving something that is probably, well, it is 70 years old. And it's, it feels like you're just hanging on for dear life. Whoa! Nought to 60 takes just 5.6 seconds in the 90 short wheelbase and 5.8 in this 110 station wagon. And the top speed is only limited to 106 miles an hour because of the tyres. But it's not just fast in a straight line. Thanks to all the tweaks under the body, you can carry that speed through the corners. Well, if you've got big enough balls that is, because it's still a defender after all. Now the ride in this car is a lot better than it was on the old one. The old one felt like, like you were getting a piggyback from a drunk who drunk 10 pints of Guinness. This one feels as though you're getting a piggyback from somebody who's had a few too many pink gins. It's a lot more comfortable, but still completely unpredictable. Inside, and it's typical Defender, so everything feels on top of itself. The only key difference is this sat-nav screen down here, but it's so small and illegible that it's basically useless. Elsewhere, you still sit in this ridiculous driving position. It feels as though you're sitting on a lavatory. And as much as these new Recaro seats are very supportive, you still soar away at this massive steering wheel. It's absolutely comic. 
It really is. It just can't help but put a massive great big smile on your face. Speaking of the steering, whilst it is a little bit more accurate than in the old Defender, you still soar away at this thing and nothing really happens. In any other car it would be totally bad, it would be totally unacceptable, but in this it's just part and parcel of a 70 year old car. And that's the nub. Land Rover is charging £150,000 for the 90 or 10 grand more for this long wheelbase 110 version. That's an exorbitant amount of money for what is a 70 year old design. But its flaws is the Defender's charming character. The Works V8 is the best Defender Land Rover has ever made. It's just a shame it's taken seven decades to get here. Click the video window on the left for a first drive of the original Range Rover Velar and on the right for a track battle between the Range Rover Sport SVR and the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Click the Auto Express logo to subscribe to the channel and as ever, thanks for watching.